I guess you wonder where I've been I search to find a love What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Good morning, drivers. Now that I got your attention, I want you to listen right quick. This this isn't going to uh, be long, all right? It's not going to be long, but it's something that you guys might just need to know, especially to you guys that's coming into the industry. I'm not going to say too many new drivers because a lot of you new drivers don't know about this because a lot of people is not talking about this side of the situation when it comes to trucking. They just sit there, do these TikTok videos, making making truck driving looking like this, this great be-all, end-all. But what if you get a ticket? What if you get in the situation? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. What if you on a highway, just bopping down the, sh down the highway, and you get pulled over by DOT for, say, doing a 55 or doing a 60 in a 55? That can't happen. That did happen. It happened to a young truck driver maybe about a year ago that I talked to. They got a ticket in Indiana driving 60 in a 55. What do you do? Do you pay the ticket like you would normally do if you was in your own car doing 60 in the 55? You know, you just call them up and be like, hey, you know, how much is the ticket? Yada, yada, yada. You pay the ticket. It's on your record. It stays on your record for about three years, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But that's your personal license, though. Now, how would that affect your CDL? Because not only that it'll be on your CDL, but it'll be on your PSP. It will be on your C, your FMCS or your, your CSA score. It would affect the next job that you might want to get in the future. It will probably be on your DAC report because when you're driving for that company and you leave that company, they put that on your DAC report so that the next company know that you have a ticket. What if you get the dreaded cell phone ticket? All right? Nobody ain't talking about that because it's a it's a lot of drivers out here that's driving reckless with their phones in their hands, texting, FaceTiming, uh doing these vlogs while they're driving, you know, on camera while they're driving, talking to the camera while they're driving. And you know when a DOT officer or a police officer pulls up on the side, especially at night, <laughs> I, I think that's where a majority of you guys get caught is at night, right? Because the light is reflecting off the mirror or off the windows. And, you know, the officers, those DOT officers be traveling in those SUVs that's a little bit higher off the ground. Now, if they was in the car, they probably might not be able to see it well, but if they're in the SUV and they're nose to nose with you just to look up in there and see what the hell you're doing, they can see the flashes. They can see that, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, flashes is going on in your, in your truck and they can tell whether or not if you're watching a video or you're testing on your phone, you get pulled over. Whoop, whoop. Ain't no way to get out of it. They're going to give you that dreaded ticket. Now what? Now what? Do you call and pay the ticket and risk having a cell phone ticket on your DAC report, CSP, uh, PSP report, and on your license for the last, you know, for the three years, right? Right? What do you do? What do you do? Well, a lot of you guys don't know, and a lot of you guys... It's a lot of guys that's not talking about it. 
But there are legal programs just dedicated for drivers. Me, I have Legal Shield. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not a fan of Legal Shield, but I have Legal Shield. It's like uh it's like insurance. It's there when you need it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you want to pay, you know, it's like a membership of like like 50 bucks, 60 bucks or something like that that you pay every month and it's there when you need it. So whenever you get a ticket, you're able to, you know, call up Legal Shield. There'll be Legal Shield would be able to find a lawyer in that state or in that city to help you fight the ticket. Now, I always say don't pay the ticket. Don't pay the ticket, fight the ticket. But sometimes when you go in there to try to fight the ticket on your own, it could be a little bit difficult. I'm just saying. It could be a little bit difficult. So you're going to need that lawyer, that mouthpiece, to talk for you and to try and get you out of that situation. Paying the ticket is, is an automatic guilty plea. Point blank simple. You, you, you paying the ticket, and by you paying the ticket, it is just simply saying, hey, I'm guilty. I'm here. Let me pay the ticket. All right. It can affect your CDL, yes, for at least three years, at least, all right? So what you might want to do, like I said, what you might want to do is look into these legal programs for truck drivers because they're out there, one of which is Legal Shield, but it is more, uh, it's more of them out there. It's good to have. Just in case you get into a situation, you'll have a mouthpiece of your own to fight and reduce the ticket. Okay. Now, if you if you don't have a mouthpiece, and let's say for a situation, you you're gonna get stuck again. Not only that is gonna affect your CDLs for the next three or four years, but it will affect the next company that you might want to drive for as well because it will be on the psp and and if you have more than a couple of violations especially that dreaded cell phone violation it's going to be hard for you to move on in trucking i'm just saying my radio believe me i like it loud i'm the man with the box that can rock the crowd walking down the street to the hardcore beat while my jdc vibrates the clock i'm sorry if you can't understand